Hello, Feral Vincent with Nation 506 and 817. Uh, coming at you with another video today, um, specifically one that was requested by a colleague of mine. Um, and this is a little bit more freeform because uh, there's a couple of topics that we really wanted to go over. Um, and that is, you know, the functions of a few different things regarding attacks. And the kind of the first point was a decision on how much, like, of these resources can I get? Like, how much? How do I determine what is a good hit and what isn't? Because, you know, if you come up here, we've got another one I remember seeing. Uh, maybe it's further up. That, you know, you can see this report here. Well, how much would I get if I hit this particular commander? And in this case, you're going to get just the not harvested. Um, and there's a reason behind that. And that's because I'm assuming they're city level, and I'll double check real quick. Um, yeah. So I'm assuming that their city level is above 7, uh, because you have to get to at least a depot of 7 in order to get uh, to city level 8, right? So if you come to your depot, you hit details, you hit more info, you're going to see the food protection category. And what you want to do with any of your battle reports is to basically guesstimate how much you think this value is and you can kind of make some inferences based on what their city level is and a little bit about what um you know there's certain break points where you have to level like your depot or something like that um you know obviously mine's level 15 for a reason and that is because i don't want to lose everything if i get hit um, i understand how the system works and so i kind of use it to my advantage but you know most people are only going to do it if the game makes them uh, if that's the case then 375 for these lower level cities is probably close for what they can hold in food and oil. So what does that mean? That means that, um, you know, for this individual here, they're definitely above 375. Uh, in fact, their city level is 12. Or sorry, 11. So with the amount that they have, the best they could possibly hope to protect is 465,000. Now, seeing as they have, you know, almost 2 million oil and 2.6 million food, if the post they can hope to protect is around 400k, uh, you can loot almost all of this. So this is a very good target to hit compared to the last one because you have this 75,000 unharvested that they haven't touched on top of all of this extra resource that they currently have in their bags. Uh, most likely because they redeemed a bunch of uh, the chests and stuff like that. Um, especially early in the game, you can find these people who will go in and redeem their packs right away. Uh, and then I like to loot them because <laughs> I'm mean and evil. Um, but that's how to determine what that is. Um, there's another question that I wanted to address just to kind of quickly circle in, and that is the uh, actual function of the biochemical hospital. So if you see down here, like I had a, a biochemical wounded of 18, um, that is not inclusive of this 27 number here. So uh, that is 18 of the 225 went to the biochemical hospital here and there. So what does a biochemical hospital actually do? Uh, it really is, and if you click on, again, the little exclamation point, it kind of tries to explain it, but it's really not going to help you. <laughs> um, the short answer is that the units that come to your biochemical hospital here, you can use these nutrients that gather up over time, or that you can uh, spend by, oh, I don't have any of the things, but you can spend the... Uh, level up things for the female chicks in the biochemical workshop or whatever. Um, the stuff that actually gets them levels that you don't need after level 17. You can use those various things to get them back. What do I mean by that? They're your troops. So in this case, 8% of your troops have a chance of entering in the biochemical hospital once you're, you're wounded kind of hit a certain threshold. And you automatically get that back. When you use the nutrients to heal them, they go back into your army and can be sent out to attack things. It works just like your regular hospital, except you're using a different resource to get your troops back. 
That is the function of the biochemical hospital. Um, and so those are the, the two questions that I got recently. I wanted to take a video to address both of them. Um, and I know they're, they're not related per se, but it's all around uh, battling and fights. And I figured that might be a good starting point. So I hope that helps somebody somewhere. And if, of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. That will really help out the channel. As always, I appreciate, you know, everyone giving me questions and work to do. Um, I know I've been behind on my videos, so I've been trying to catch up when I have the time. And this is one of those videos. So again, thank you guys so much. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.